I don't mind them too much when on that side of the fence, but then they get a bit nosy when you're out detecting. They're a bit, uh, they're a bit big. These are just young, I think. Just youngins. Right. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me again. Um, I am back. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I posted anything last. I uh, had a, if you've seen, I had a bit of a disaster a couple of weeks ago, two days worth of detecting, and I lost every single bit of footage bar the first three digs. Um, the, something happened between the computer and the phone and it wiped everything clean. However, um, so I basically took a weekend off last week and bought a couple of new cameras that, uh, well, it's a, it's a long story, but I'm still on the original, uh, the original camera that I'm using. Uh, don't buy a cheap action camera is all I'm going to say. Um, so yeah, uh, so I'm back out on the same permission as a as I normally come on to the silver fields, but I'm not on that field. I'm on a brand new field uh, that, as far as I am aware, has never been ploughed before. But as you can see, it was ploughed, and uh, I think it was barley that was on it. So, but worth it a go. I'm going to I'll give it a couple of hours, see how we go, and if nothing much is coming up, I'm going to head back down the hill and go on to the, the field that I'm normally going to um, that always produces a bit of silver. So um, just one other thing, I wanted to give another shout out to the, the, the viewers who say, who bought me a coffee, sorry. Uh, I did give them a shout out on the last video, um, but it wasn't a great video. So a big thank you to John Coleman again, uh, Al Woods Modelling Mayhem and detecting Mercia, so thank you very much for your coffee, very, very much appreciated. So I'm just going to spin you about and give you a look at the, the scenery where I am now. I'm pretty high up, uh, I can, as it is around here, it's pretty pretty hilly around here, but I'm going to give you a look just to, to show you the scenery, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So here's a quick look, you can see all the way over, to, well, you, you may not, there's a bit of rain over that way, which has just passed, it's supposed to be clear today um, but it's absolutely stunning up here um, it's one thing if you don't find much it's just so relaxed and so peaceful and the scenery is just breathtaking uh, it's a bit overcast but the sun's trying to come out over there so I'm going to take that as a good omen so I am dying to get out uh, and get going so I shall see you on the first dig or the first hole even hopefully it's something decent Right, I've been going about 10-15 oh, minutes and I've come right down from the top, from the gate basically, uh, down sort of one length of the field and I've had, without a joke, no signals at all. Um, I tell a lie, one iron signal, uh, but it is so quiet here. So I've got, I've got a signal here, now normally would probably skip over it. But the numbers are okay, it's just a bit, it's a bit iffy, but <clears throat> I don't know why you can see it there, they're coming in normally in about the 80s, 89, 86, is jumping up to 99, so I'm thinking it's a bit of junk, but I'm going to dig it anyway, just to see, uh, it's right under, right under the centre of the coil there, so I'll give you a listen to it, uh, just so you know what I'm listening to, oh, hold on, hold on, I'm rusty, it's been a few weeks, you know, bear with me, uh, okay, hold the minus button down, takes your options, uh, turn the volume up so you can hear, hopefully you can, right. now if that's coming through okay, you can hear it's not... It's repeatable both ways, but it's not uh, it's not the greatest. I say it's jumping mid eighties into the nineties. I'll just pinpoint it again, just so I can have it. Right under the centre of the coil. Well, it should be, and I've got a different spade today because evolution, as good a spade as it is, 
it's pretty heavy and you don't really need it, it's great for pasture. But this stuff's easier digging, especially with the amount of rain we've had. It's not sounding too, too clever. Mm. I think this is going to be a, probably a big bit of iron. It's sounding a little bit better, but I see a bit of I see a bit of brown down there, which is probably a big, probably a big lump of iron. It's, it could be deep iron actually. I'm not getting anything in the pinpointer as yet. So, okay, listen, I'll do this bit off camera and I'll come back when I've got a bit more out and maybe we'll, uh, I've, uh, I've got to it. Give me a wee second. Right, I can see it. I don't know what I've not taken out. It's just kind of fell out to the side. Let's move you over a little bit. Now it's that there. It's pretty. The sunlight's not helping, so bring it out. And that is... And that is, but well, it's not junk. It's, oh. I think, I don't know what it's made of. It's like a lead alloy. It's got a little raised part here. I mean, that was deep. That's pinpointer depth. Maybe, maybe a touch more, so it's at 10 inches or so. It's definitely got a bit of lead or something, but I don't know if you have any ideas. It might be a little lid for something, possibly. You can see it's raised there in the centre, or a mount or something. Looks like a little alien face, isn't it? A little eye either side. Maybe left here thousands of years ago. Say that the aliens have visited this uh, this field. It's maybe something on that. I don't know. I can't see. It's maybe just my eyes playing tricks. But God knows. Date wise, who knows? Could be. It could be nineteen hundreds, eighteen hundreds. Pass. I don't know. However, that's the first one for today. Let's go on to the next and try and get a bit of silver. I can we do with it? We'll see you on the next. I'll just quickly go over my settings. So I'm using the the sensitive program, uh, except I've got it on a five tone. Uh, let's get you in a bit here so you can see. There we go. Can you see that? Is that coming through? So sensitive five tones, and I'm using the high square tones. Uh, I've got discrimination six point eight. Sensitivity at ninety. I always start off in ninety. I know maybe ramp it up a little bit. It seems quite quiet this field, so I probably I could probably jack up, maybe I'll stick up to 95 and go from there. Uh, frequency at 40 again. I'll maybe drop it down depending on how it goes. Iron volume up at 10. I like to hear what's going on. Reactivity 2.5. Audio response at 5. And that's just back around to discrimination. Um Let's go back to the scrum again. Expert. Five tones as you can see. Uh, if you can see that. I'll zoom around. You can see my tone breaks. I don't know if you will. If anybody wants any of these settings, just let me know and I'll... I'll uh, I can I can give you a note of them. It's not a problem. Uh, bottle caps, nothing at all. Notch, 23 to 26 to take out some coke. There's quite a bit of coke in these fields. Uh, silence are zero, tones, five tones, so there you go. I think that's everything. Usual ground balance and frequency scan before you get going. So, yeah, right, let's get going. That was the first, just after the first uh, the first signal there, the first diggable signal anyway at least, and we'll get you on the next one. Okay, so just before this clip starts, it's 
going to give you a little example of the iron falsing that I am talking about. Now, you notice as I'm going over the target that the numbers are reading sort of mid-80s, 82, 83, 84, and uh, you get a little bit of an iron buzz, but nothing, um, nothing too major, which is the reason why I dug it now. I don't remember getting this on the old version, 0.71, but if anybody else is getting anything similar, yeah, please pop it in the comments, um, because I don't think it should be doing that. Well, this one's a bit of a... It's a dodgy. There's a bit of an iron tone, but some of the numbers are still pretty good. Just hope it's not a bit of falsing. Right, so... There's definitely... I can see a nail. Hold on, I'll shift you down a little bit. Right, so there's a nail there, and there's, oh, yeah, I don't know, we're out anyway, we're out anyway, so that's the main thing. So let's see what we've got, what's going on. Right, so there is something in here. It's not in that, it's in there, and that is a big, ah, oh, right, okay, so that's probably one part of it. And there is the other part there, so it's like a big U-shaped nail, and not a lot else. It did sound a bit dodgy, I'll give it that, I just thought I'd dig it anyway, because there's not really much been much happening in this field, so I'm going to give this one more length of the field. I'm going to I'm going to head back up, back up the hill, right over the top, and that should take me about 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how I go. If nothing's happening there, well, I don't know. Should I stick or should I, should I twist? I don't know. I'll decide when I get to the top of the hill. Uh, hopefully I've got some few... So hopefully, hopefully things pick up. I'm right over here, it's a bit quiet. Uh, it might be a bit, bit, a bit better over the other side of the, other side of the field, but I've never had a great deal of luck up the back. Uh, this permission has always been down, down, at the, down at the front. So we'll give it a go, we'll head back up there and hopefully we'll see you in a little bit. I've got some, uh, some extra viewers. One guys, give us a subscribe if you like. What you, if you like what you're seeing over there, subscribe. Cheers. Another dodgy one. Seventy-four. Mm. It's not. There's no iron. I'm not going to really any, any iron buzz, but it's just not great. Uh, maybe a wee bit there, but. This is going to make cracking viewing. Um, let's let's pinpoint it. Should be right under there. It doesn't sound too deep. <coughs> very quiet this field. Very very quiet. Not even a lot of junk uh, compared to the other field where there's it's sort of near the it's near a road, a busy road, and there's. Okay, the usual sort of. There's a bit of. There's a big, big. There's a big lump of iron that's just come out. If you can hear that, so I don't know whether there's maybe another. There's something else in that, which is maybe why it was not giving it such a good, a good signal one direction. And we're all, we're all out. Mm. Not. Filled with confidence, I'm afraid. So apologies for apologies for this. I fear it's a big bit of iron. That's it. That's that is a bit of iron, but I don't know if that's everything we're talking talking about here. Why would that? There's another bit. Is it just bits of iron? I don't know what it is, it looks, a, it looks twisted, it might be a... Yeah, I think that's us. Hmm. Again. More of it there. It's about like a bit of wire or... Mm. Let's run 
sofa. I mean, you can see it there. It's not dropping down to the iron, 72, 73. But all I'm getting is little bits of little bits of iron. I'm not, I'm not even getting anything there. Not even getting anything. But oh, it's just strange, 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 strange. Just don't understand what's going on here. Oh, whatever it is, I've moved it. I think it's just more of this wire stuff. Yeah, there's another bit there. I think that has to be it, surely. Just lots of little bit of wire, but. Just gives you a bit of falsing. Mm, definitely a downside in the days too, that. That's bad. It's a little bit bad for falsing. However, you dig it anyway to find out. On to the next. Right. I'm not having a, a hell of a lot of luck. Right, uh, just before I dig this, for any, any days to use it there, I've noticed a little bug now I have saved this program using the big numbers now if have you, has anybody ever noticed that now look it's been big numbers have not changed anything and it's defaulted back to small numbers now I know this machine inside out I know I've saved it I've used it and it's the big numbers and it's defaulting back to now I've noticed it before it's defaulting back to the small numbers so I don't know what it is, uh, ever since I've updated it to, I noticed it on version 1 and I've also noticed it in version 1.1 .1. uh, So yeah, I don't know if anybody else has got that experience, can I keep your eyes out for it if you, if you do, be interested to know if it's just me And, annoyingly, the clock doesn't work, not that I ever use it but, you know for 1300, £1300 pounds, I would expect the very minimum if I've got a clock in it, that it works but it's still a good machine, I still like it. This is going to be iron again. Maybe not. We are out. Sounds a bit... Sounds a bit... Not good. Like the rest of them in this field so far. Nothing in there. We are in here. God. Have I dropped it? No, no, we're still in here somewhere. I think it might be a shotgun cartridge. You can see that there. It. It is. Uh, it's a shotgun cartridge. You can see the black, which is a kind of material. I don't know what kind of material it is, just I'm not actually sure. But, there we go. Anything on it? There is writing on it. Can't see. I'm. My eyes are going in my old age. Nah, don't know what, 12, so I'm guessing that's a, is it 12, 12 gauge? That'll be, 12 bore, 12 gauge. I know nothing about these E-L-E-Y, possibly. Don't know. God, it's bad when you're trying to ID a shotgun cartridge, that's how quiet it is. Anyway, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to twist, I think I'm going to leave this field, because that's me, I'm right back up at the gate, and I've dug another bit of wire, and a shotgun cartridge, and that's it. So, I think I'm going to move on to the, the silver field, and hopefully we can get some coins at least. Alright, we'll see you in the next. Well, I twisted, and I changed fields, so... Well, I twisted, I changed fields, and I took about five steps. And we have a first signal. I've also changed spades, just in case you're wondering. Always bring the both, but I wasn't really feeling the, 
the wee, uh, the wee yellow one is a, is a, is one of a screw fix, it's a little, is it rough, is it a rough neck, something like that, it wasn't, it wasn't expensive, it was like 20 quid, it's a good little speed, nice and light, but, well, this one's not sounding as good now, it's, as I've started to dig, yeah, so this speed, it's a it's a good spade, so I would recommend if you're looking to get one. They're a wee bit expensive, but uh, I think the, the welds are guaranteed for life, I believe. We're in this one here. We're in here somewhere. Let's bring this up. We'll go old school. It's in here. A little clawed shot. Can't see anything just yet. Let's split it in half. It's over here somewhere. Is that something there, maybe? Not in there. No, it wasn't that. It's getting smaller. What have we got? Ah! God, I've seen silver there, look! I've seen silver. Ah! Don't do that to me. It's a little aluminium rivety type thing. Yeah, thought it was on the silver straight away. Darn. Oh well, let's keep going. Alright, so this is probably my best signal of the day so far. I say I've changed fields. Now, oh, oh no, there we are. So it's a solid 81, 82. That's kind of half penny ted half penny territory now this has been ploughed but it's starting to turn back into pasture so I'll we'll dig it as such and we are out 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 let's have a look oh there we go bingo half penny just as I thought. And as usual, toasted. Let's turn you off. Yeah, I can't. Don't really like to rub these too much because they're so, uh, they're so bad that you start just lifting off the. Let's get my little, let's get my little toothbrush. Thing in my bob. I've got this. Um, it was a Scottish detectorist that uh, had these. Um, the only thing is, I don't that didn't like the big, the bigger brush that less supplied. So I like this wee thing. That's a great wee gadget. Uh, but I just got a a kid's toothbrush, sharpened it off because I, I used that. To to, to scrape away some bits and pieces and drill the hole in it and I just prefer this this one okay. what have we got nah it's pretty bad there's something there I, can, I think I can see a bald head facing to the left so that's probably going to be a George the Fifth. Probably a George the Fifth. Yeah. George the Fifth. Me thinks. Yep, it's good. First coin of the day. This little field never, never fails to deliver. Excellent. Coin number one. Hopefully we can add to that. I like the sound of this one. A 92, 93. Sounds... Sounds close to the surface. It's the right kind of... It's the right numbers for silver. 
it's on the surface. Now Andy got a little love token here a few weeks ago um, that I showed you in the last video and it was basically on the surface so that's the thing about play fuels, everything just goes right up the top. I didn't even have to dig that, it is right on the top so right, let's beat up a little bit. Still can't see what I'm sorry about this. As I say, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been out, I'm losing the I'm losing the hang of it, I've the worms. I don't like to it feels like I ripped them apart. Come on wormies. Oh, we're out, we're out, we're out. It's not silver. What have we got this time? Oh, it's, I'm going to say that's another bobby. I never thought of those. Those figures can be a bobby. And you can see how... Well, it might not come across in the camera, but... It's... Could be Georgian, actually. Could be Georgian. But I've had a few, a few bobbies. Are you going to focus or, or what? No, you're not. Right, hang on. Let's see if we can get anything off it at all. I see everything's just always like mega toasted on here, and I really don't like. I don't think I'm going to get anything off that. That is goosed. So it's either Georgian. Keep a Bobby. I'm going to say Bobby again. See, I've had a few of them. See, I don't like that. That's a little, that's what happens. So they just toasted, you just start picking away in it. It's the top layer, the, the detail that's coming away. Not that there's much detail left on it, but... Coin number two. So yeah, happy with that. Excellent. On we go. I forgot to press record. So we've got something in here. Which is coming in at an 84. It didn't sound that great when I was going over it the first time round. Um, yeah, somewhere. Oh, God. It's a coin. Looks like kind of. Looks half penny like. Again, the right kind of numbers for that. Zero detail at all, just wafer thin. Again, it's just rotten right down to the core. So, probably Victoria, half penny, something like that. Can't give you any more information than that because I cannot see anything. There we go, coin number three, four, three, three I think it is. Right, so well, that was 67, right on, the, you might notice I'm back on to uh, PWM and I'm on the general programme. It's the same idea, it's a five tone programme, essentially just the same settings, um, general has uh, a couple of different software tweaks in it. Uh, that are better for the for the wet ground. So this is right on the surface. Well, it should be anyway. There we go. Right in about there. Yeah. Normally have my little hand tool with me, but I left it thinking I wouldn't really need it. So where are we? I can see something. Oh. Here we go. A buckle, it looks like. From a horse, I would say. Yeah. 
a horse harness buckle type thing. There we go, there we go. All I need now is just a musket ball. I've had a musket ball for ages. Okay, so we've got a little 66 here. I'm just going to run through each of the programs, just the, the factory ones if you're new to the days too, um, or not. I'm just going to uh, run through. So start program number one, which is general. I hope you can. Uh, I hope you can hear it. There we go. It's general, sensitive. I hope that's. Uh, Coming out. Sends the full tones fast. What chooses pitch park? What chooses a yeah, square tones that it uses? Deep HC and there's mono goldfield. Gee, that's loud. Uh, oh god, so is that. And that says back through to beach. Yep. So we'll stick it back onto main, which is general with the five stones. So there we go. Yeah. Worth a little dig. Let's have a look. Sixty six is probably. Kind of maybe button territory, a little pewter button, or a bit of lead actually. That was kind of, that was kind of number. Oh god, I don't. I see something round, and it's too big to be a coin. What is this here? Oh god, it's falling to bits anyway. It looks like some sort of furniture thing. There's a bit, of, a bit of iron on it. Oh, well, yeah, that's, uh, that is, what's that in, is that just, that's the backing of it anyway, whatever it is. So, yeah, it looks maybe like the, the, I don't actually know, could be a horse mount or something, uh, but they're normally bra brass, but this is just falling to bits in my hands, as you can see, so I'll chuck it in the bag, it's just, really, it's just junk, I don't know what it is, it's falling to bits anyway, so on we go, on to the next so this was a 66, never filmed it, um, not filming everything, but I've not opened it properly, but I think we might have a little lead bag seal, so if you can see that just about there, so let's kind of open it, I'm saying that's what it is, it kind of looks like it, let's take it out, yep that's it, oh there's some writing on it as well, whether I can make out what it says. See, I've got my glasses. What does that say? Econ... Economy? Econ? So I think that's E... Econom something or other. I don't think there's anything in the back. Oh, there we go. Number one. So, is that to do with the, the grade? Is one the best or one the poorest of whatever was in this? I don't know, it's probably, uh, I'd say we're quite close to a, a mill. Um, so, it could have been some sort of grain or flax or something uh, yeah so that's pretty good quite like that I like the fact that it's got a, a little number one in the back I want you try and uh, try and do a wee bit of research on that if you can see anything again if anybody knows anything about that pop it in the comments uh, help us out please right on we go
Yeah, this looks like a, well to me, it looks like a broken padlock, possibly. It was in the, in the 70s. No, the, the ID was in the 70s, this is probably not from the 70s. Let's try to get rid of some of the, try to get rid of some of the loose muck on it. Is it? I don't know. Is that is that part of a padlock? Hmm. So I thought that was like the the little cover for the keyhole, but and this looks like either end of it, and your bar would have been oh God, sorry, would have been over the top here. So yeah. Well, I think that's the, is that an escutcheon they call that bit? I'm not sure, just the wee little, the little flap that goes over that there. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a little, a little padlock. Something along those lines anyway. Anyway, on we go. Okay, an 82, 83, sounds alright. I'm getting close to wrapping up for the day. I'm getting a little bit hungry. Forgot to bring out. How's it went? Oh. oh, wait a minute! I think it's sticking to the, stick to the spade. It is, and it's not anything good. And it's another little bottle top that sound good, but aren't good. Yep, just one of those days. Just one of those days. So yeah, I'm just heading back up to the car. Hopefully I'll uh, get a few more signals that I can dig and share with you. We'll see you on the next. Well, I think we're going to call it a day at that. Uh, I've done about four hours. Uh, done an hour over in the, the other field. And we've come down here and it's obviously been a bit better. Not, not great, but as I say, it's good to get out. I've enjoyed it. Uh, blow off the old cobwebs, uh, stretch the legs a little. Um, clear the head. Past couple of weeks have been a bit, um, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a, bit of a downer. Uh, work's been very, very busy, so I've not had a lot of time to do really do much. Uh, the whole calamity with the losing the footage a couple of weeks ago as well, so it kind of puts you in a bit of a downer. But you've got to, you've got to pick yourself up and, and get going again. Um, it's just one of these things, and I think I've just timed it right because the rain is just coming on. And again, there was forecast for no rain at all today. Um, so well done to the, the BBC weather. Uh, it's rained twice since I've been out. Not heavy, but uh, it was supposed to be clear skies uh, and sunshine all day today, and it's obviously not. So, yeah, um, I'm going to spin you about, and we'll give you a quick look at the finds, um, and then we'll, we'll head off. So, listen, if you... If, if, you, if you enjoy what you've watched, um, I know the finds are not great, but uh, I'm always always going to be honest. So if you like videos of metal detectors finding crappy things, then this is the right place for you. So hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, appreciate it. I'm really trying to get to 500. That's a big milestone for me. I've got a bit of a giveaway to do as well as soon as I hit that hit that mark. Uh, so yeah, any help you can you, you can you, you can do for the channel is, is really appreciated so uh see so i'll spin you about we'll give you a look at these finds um and then we'll, we'll we'll head off okay right give me two seconds okay here we are this is what we've got so uh three three definite coins so this is a couple of half pennies here i think this one sometimes i, th I look at it and i think it's maybe an edward I don't know though, I'm not, uh, it might come up better when I have a look at it at home, put a wee bit of, a wee bit of something on it to, to try and bring it up. Yeah, I'm struggling there to get anything, and that's Britannia in the back anyway. Another little half penny, but there's uh, no detail on it, it's just the same size. And now this one, slightly different, 
high, higher numbers, you can see the size of it. I am going to say this is another bobby, and I think this is probably the fourth or the fifth I've had off of this, this field. Again, I need to have a, little, a better look at it, see if I can get something to something to pop out detail wise. Um, now this is, I don't know if it's possibly a coin, it's got that look about it. But it was only in the 50s, so it's maybe, maybe a little farthing, part of a farthing, a part of a coin. Very, very poor condition. It's got that, got that kind of look about it, but again, I don't know. And the little bag seal, which I really like, actually. That's probably my favourite find of the day. So I don't know what that says. Econom J. There's a J and an A, and then there's Econom, I'm sure it's Economy or Econ, something or along those lines, and then there's a little something down at the bottom, just can't quite, thir T -h -i -r, thir nah, I don't know, and of course the number one on the back, which I'm guessing is to do with the quality, possibly, uh, quality of the contents, so yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, so that's us. We're done. Um, going to go up the road. Going to get some food. What do you think of the hat? Courtesy of LP. Uh, if you would like one of these, uh, pop over to LP Metal Detecting. Uh, they have got a plethora of metal detecting goods, coils, Detectors, books, spades, trebles, bags, any accessories. They have absolutely loads in stock and you can get 10% off if you pop in my uh, discount code, which is, if I'm doing this the right way, is Unearthing Ayrshire. I'll stick it along the bottom. Unearthing Ayrshire, all one word, and that will get you a fabulous 10% off of uh, most things. Uh, so pop that in, uh, visit those guys and uh, treat yourself for Christmas. So thank you very much for watching to the end if you've stuck about. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you next time. Hopefully it's not quite as long. Thanks guys. Take care. We'll see you soon.